Hello, this is Ford Rasmussen, and welcome back to my channel where we do art, learn about astronomy, try candy, and well, frankly, do whatever it is that sounds fun. My theme on this channel is no theme. <laughs> Thank you for joining me. Let's jump into it. This picture here is just one example of the kind of thing that Mid Journey AI text to art, no, that's not how you say it, Mid Journey gen art generator, man. This is, a, this is a machine in the computer, a, a program that you can put in some words and it'll give you a picture. It is AI generated art. So for this example, I put in Mickey Mouse as Charlie Chaplin and it gave me this uncanny yet very intriguing result. What we're gonna do today is jump into four or five of my personal artworks that I've done throughout the years on my YouTube channel. You can watch those videos if you wanna see me draw them. But here we're gonna take my results, give the description of that result to the computer and see if Mid Journey can replicate my artwork, maybe build on it, make it better. You know, not like it, everything's a competition in life, but we'll make this a competition because a little friendly competition every once in a while is, <laughs> it's, 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 it's good, it's good. So here we have a drawing I did a while ago in Adobe Illustrator. It's pretty simple, straightforward, vector tree. Now, honestly, we're starting out with a, an easy one because this is I think one of the areas where AI art excels doing simple basic things that there's millions of references for right so this AI generator basically just looks scours the internet for images as I understand it and puts together something like what it what it has in its database so to start off I went to mid journey and I typed a single tall green oak tree on a grassy hill comma vines comma vector art that is essentially a description of what we're seeing, right? So here's what it gave me. And honestly, I think you're going to be impressed. I am speechless. In about 10, maybe like 30 seconds, it probably took about 30 seconds for it to generate this image. <laughs> and it's way more detailed, realistic, but also stylized. Like it's compared to mine, look at the, look at the values in there. It's got the, the brights and the darks, whereas mine is a lot more flat. But I do have shadows and highlights, you know. I've got a little bit of the basics down. But man, a point score slam dunk for Mid Journey because this, this was pretty good. But just to let it flex a little bit, show off its skills, I decided to put in another prompt. Here we go. For this one, what did I type? Oh, pretty much the same thing. Uh, I think I just used a different, a different render image. I used test P, which is like photorealistic. And I don't know, it's not necessarily photorealistic, but it's a little, you know, just a, a little bit of a variety on the same thing. Still pretty cool. Let's do one more. And here, the final one, which I thought this one was pretty interesting. It's bigger, you know, I did a bigger aspect ratio, but it clearly was using a reference image from iStock. I'm pretty sure, do you see this watermark here over here? That looks like iStock, which is funny. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, this is what it created, pretty cool. So far we have AI art one Ford mm, zero. It'll give, it, it won this round. So let's move on to my next piece of art. I drew this, I think it was back in 2019 after visiting the Great Wall of China. I, this was my first time using a fountain pen. Pretty fun. I mean, mine's pretty good. Look, I'm no professional, but I have fun with art and I think this was pretty good. This image is a little blurry and maybe not the best image of it, but I was proud of this. And then <laughs> nervous chuckle. Wow. Wow, just wow. So the prompt for this was Great Wall of China, comma, fountain pen drawing. Pretty simple. I could keep it simple and it knew exactly what I meant. And the composition is great. The values are great. Like, did I have good values? I tried to have highlights. It's hard with a fountain pen because you just got to not draw to leave highlights or, or just how close you draw together. There's no like lightly pressing to get a lighter shade like you kind of with a pencil. You got to be more creative. And this, wow. It got, it got the grays in there, which I was not able to do. I think this looks more almost like some watercolor hints in there to get those grays, because I don't know how you can get a gray with a fountain pen the way that it did here. Like I, no, I, there's no gray in this. Like there's a sense of value because of how much color I, or how much ink I put in one spot, but there is clearly, it's just black and white. There's no gray here. And so they, they were able to be sneaky on this one, but overall great composition. It knew what I meant and it presented it pretty well. Like that's pretty impressive. So <laughs> again, two points for Mid Journey AI art and zero for Ford. All right, never fear. I got this, I got, I got this, I got this. There's still a chance for me to win. Let's move on to the next one. 
All right, here is my beautiful little Chinese dragon that I drew with colored pencils, another, a new medium here. Well, I don't, you know, if you want to learn more about this, because these are interesting creatures, check out my video on the Chinese dragon. They are, fun fact, a combination of various animals. And I won't spoil what those are for you. You'll just have to go watch the video, but this was a fun one. And I think I did pretty good for not having a lot of experience with colored pencils. Like it was a, it was a fun experiment for sure. Let's see how AI did. <laughs> Well, you tell me, you tell me. So the prompt here was simply Chinese dragon. I assumed it knew what that was. And it's like, yeah, for it, I think I know what that is. It's a long snaky thing with waves and, and what? <laughs> Some weird... So it definitely lost the details here. Like the head is a mess. But it's got, it's a pretty cool composition. It's got some Chinese characters in that. So there's some win points for that. But overall, I would say it failed the prompt here because it's got the form of a dragon, but denies the true power of a dragon. <laughs> I don't know if I should cut that out, but <laughs> anyway. Yeah, it's pretty cool, but not as good. So I, so let's give it a second shot. I decided to give it three shots to see if it could get, give me something that resembled more realistically a dragon. So the next one you have is <laughs> this creative venture. And I'm not going to lie. It's cool. Like the colors and the shapes got me thinking Chinese dragon, but it's soups abstract, if you know what I mean. And not what I was asking for, but the prompt I put in was simple Chinese dragon colored pencil drawing which is what I, which, which is what I did, right? Like that is not, is that not what this is? It's a pretty simple, straightforward colored pencil, Chinese dragon. <laughs> and I got to hand it to it. The detail, the shading, the texture, like the volume, you know, with the lighting. Oh man, it did pretty good. It did pretty good, but failed the prompt. That is not a Chinese dragon. Anyway, fun to look at. I'll give it that. Points for Ford on this one. So let's see. I'll give it one more shot. Let's check it out. And this is like a little better, but it's got some floating feet out there. And still, it's struggling with the head. The head is getting closer. Like I can, I can see a Chinese dragon head there, but I got to use a little bit of my imagination because the details are just not where they should be. The prompt for this was simple Chinese dragon colored pencil drawing. I think I just repeated it. And this time, this is what it gave me. And yeah, I think, I think we can say with, with some, while giving it, while tipping our hat to its creativity. I, I really followed the prompt here and I did my best. So not that doing your best means you win, but in this case, the result, I think it was more, more on the nose, more on point. So all right now the score is two to one in favor of AI art. Let's see what we have next. All right, this was a fun little challenge where I drew a, a composition from just a squiggle. So I started with um, some of the lines here at the top. I don't know, remember exactly which one. You'd have to check out the video to see me draw this, but I think it's a fun composition, pretty unique thing. Wouldn't have thought of it just kind of, you know, when you draw from squiggles, fun things happen. So <laughs> let's see, let's see how AI, the AI art can handle this. What I put in the prompt was, and tell me if you think this is not what you were seeing here. Anthropomorphic dollar bill and penny with faces. I realized the with faces thing is a little generic. It probably didn't know exactly what to do with that. And as you'll see here, it gave me some faces on a dollar bill. So I missed the mark here. Cool, but like not that cool. We tried again. Next time I had to switch up my prompt a little bit. I said, come on, maybe, maybe I need to give it some stylization. So let's say Pixar style, character design, portrait of dollar bill as person, comma, anthropomorphic. And this time I decided to just throw away the penny because it doesn't do so good with complex descriptions. It, it can really only, sometimes only handle one or two things. So this is what we got, which you can totally see the Pixar style in there. However, again, not what I asked for. Intriguing, a little strange, but I love the texture. Anyway, fail. Lastly, this one. I switched up the prompt just a little bit more. And now I wrote character design portrait of a dollar bill as a person, comma, anthropomorphic. And yeah, so it's a portrait now and it looks like a dollar bill and a person, but again, missed the prompt. So you know what that means? That means we're tied. Oh, this will be interesting. Two to two. Point here for me. The last one then, this will be the tiebreaker. 
This was me attempting to draw a realistic Venusaur, and it's really just drawing Venusaur in what was at the time my style. I would, I don't know, kind of like comic bookish a little bit. It's all right. Anyway, so <laughs> this is where it gets a little crazy. So here's what I typed in. Ultra detailed Venusaur colored pencil drawing, because I didn't really know what style to say this was. I guess comic book might have been the closest. But anyway, it doesn't have to be the exact same style as long as it looks, you know, like a kind of realistic Venusaur. <laughs> So here's what it gave me. <laughs> Look, I don't know what we're looking at. Is a Venusaur a plant? I mean, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know how it got to this. So that's a fail. Let's give it another shot. Okay. And this time, this time I added the word Pokemon because I'm like, look, you're obviously not understanding me. Venusaur Pokemon ultra detailed colored pencil drawing. And now we got some cool results. Like I love those results. I don't know. Like this could be a fun Pokemon. This, I don't know what it is, but I love the lighting on it. So props for trying and good, good results. But again, missed the mark on what it was that we were asking for. So this is the final shot. Ooh, if it, if it, if it, if it nails it on this next shot, then it wins. If it doesn't, then I win. And this proves undeniably, scientifically, without a doubt, that I'm a better artist than AI. Granted, we were using my art as the comparison. <laughs> So, you know, not a fair trial, but it would be nice if I win. Let's just say that. Okay, the next, the very last shot it's got for the prompt we type. And again, I'm also giving it the prompt, so it's got that crutch. But anyway, Venusaur Pokemon detailed watercolor. I'm like, let's, let's try a lot of Pokemon are watercolor style. It's a good style for it. So maybe it'll know what to do. And I'll say this one on the right here was pretty close, but let's see what, it, let's see what it's got. <gasps> Those are pretty cool. They're a little amorphous, like they don't have a defined shape. They're just kind of heads, you know, but they're cool looking. But wait a minute, is it supposed to be cool? Or is it supposed to be a Venusaur? Simply, but detailedly drawn. I would say it missed the mark on this one. Phew. Fortunately, I just barely scraped by, by the skin of my teeth. So this is cool, but the point goes to me. Three to two, Ford is the winner. This was pretty fun to see what AI could do, and it is pretty capable. I would say, in summary, it's good at get it, getting creative results. It can understand some basic things, like it excels pretty good with simple things, trees. Look, that's pretty cool. Things that are very well known, or, I mean, Pokemon's well known, but like, it's also very specific. I asked for a Venusaur, and so like, general well-known things, it, it can do that. But when you go specific well-known things, I think it has some, some lackluster ability because cause it, well, you know, it got close there. I think it had, it had a potential to beat me on this round, but luckily it didn't, because I only gave it three shots. And lastly, for the money, so it also lacks in like, strangely random creative ideas. Like, I came up with this with my creativity, and I was trying to describe this to the computer, not having an example online where it can look at something like this. I'm sure it's not like this is, we could dare say very unique. You probably won't see this ever again in your life unless you do, but it's not very common. So yeah, I would say very specific, unique, unknown things. It can't do so good. Well-known general vague things. It knows what they are. So I think it's only a matter of time before it gets better at it. But I, I always think humans will have a little bit of an edge in the creativity department. Not that, and, and just to say, I have seen some super creative, cool looking AI art, but there's always a little bit of a limitation on what on how creative it can be, because it can only be as creative as things it sees. Whereas we, we can be creative in new ways, I would say. So, yeah, I don't know, you try it. Here, here's my challenge for you. Take a piece of paper and a pencil, draw a couple squiggles on the paper and turn it into some sort of composition, some sort of picture, and you'll get something never before seen, some brand new image that you created that, you know, nobody else could, nor could the AI generate. That This, this here is really, I don't know if I would say what won me the game, but like, this is an example of where humans excel, I think. So, I don't know, just a, just an analysis. It did pretty good, but, but yeah, it has, uh, it has, has room for improvement, as do we all. Anyway, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed this, had a little fun, maybe learned something new, and got, uh, got excited about being creative. I encourage you to draw, or whatever it is that you find gets you in the zone, in the state of flow, where you can just create and, you know, have a little bit of extra happiness in your life. So, please, have a good day. Keep on learning, keep being creative, and as always, remember to smile.